Lately, there has been a huge buzz around Genshin Impact and gaming companies in general. The main issue is nothing else than inequality and player happiness. And while the response mainly from Hoyoverse has been silence or non-existent, players still keep on showing their emotions. Many big content creators have shown their support in a way or another, but have taken their words pretty quickly back, or at least have withdrawn more. Why is this relevant in 2024? Why are people protesting about of a game? The company in question is relatively big and has made quite an impact in gacha games in recent years. While the gaming community in general are not counted anything significant, we have to remember that it's the biggest entertainment industry, worth being over 214 billion. This number is expected to grow. In 2024, the video games market is projected to reach a revenue of approximately $282 billion. Keeping this in mind, it is for consumers very reasonable to get proper service for their money. There is one more aspect to this although, and that is gotcha games which are free to download and play, but have content which can be bought against in-game currency. This in-game currency can be obtained by playing the game or by using real money and purchasing it from the shop in-game. For this game running in the background, Genshin Impact, this in-game currency is called Primogems, which are used to buy characters or weapons. Many are familiar with NFTs, non-fungible tokens, which gained popularity in recent years, in that people made art or other content which one was able to buy with money. In a sense, one was owning virtual art, which had no value otherwise. In similar manner, gacha games have gained huge popularity in recent years among players. In Genshin Impact's case, you buy virtual characters that have no value outside the game. It has caused lots of issues in families and especially for younger players, some spending thousands, just to get their favorite character. In some cases, the money is stolen from parents, this creates some sort of Stockholm Syndrome for players, where they protect their precious characters and gaming company to very big lengths. Especially Genshin Impact has very fanatic player base who are ready to protect everyone from attacking their favorite children. This is easy to understand just by realizing that they own something that exists only in virtual reality. The game in itself has many features and things which players have asked to be changed for years. Hoyaverse has remained unresponsive for most part of the feedback. This has made players quite furious, especially as Genshin Impact is not Hoyaverse's only game they develop. Within the company, there is another development team that develops another popular game called Honkai Star Rail. Many of the requested features for Genshin came at launch or instantly afterwards to this another game. This made players question their playing of Genshin Impact. Why should one play a game they love and have invested tons of time and probably money as well, especially if Hoyoverse is treating them poorly like now? This for many is a situation where they show support either by continuing to play or if they got enough of this treatment, then by voting with their money. In the last three years the game has existed, it has gained a popularity where monthly 60 million unique players play the game. In 2022, Hoyoverse revenue was around $3.84 billion and their overall net income was around $2.27 billion. With these numbers, it's easy to get the idea why people are frustrated. Nobody would ever use their money to groceries if product didn't meet their expectations. So why would they support a game which should be entertaining? Especially if same game provider has another game which has better features already. Last few weeks, many has been boycotting Genshin Impact. Most likely all of these bad things are being forgotten as new update was just released on January 31st, 2024. Many of those who have been protesting and showing their unhappy status are back streaming the game and continuing to support the game. That is most likely because we go by trends. All revolves around the money. It was trendy for a little while to boycott against tyranny, but now all is forgotten. Many were demanding better rewards, quality of life updates, and so on. Now we return back to coping. We cope by what we have. It's good enough. Or is it? There are features that are quite okay as they are. But that shouldn't mean we don't want better quality. They are capable of providing quality, so why not to us as well? If we don't keep our stand and don't demand better, 
Who knows, maybe they will make our lives even worse than what they are now. I know, it is just a game, so why the buzz? Nobody in his sensible mind would riot over a game, right? Well, we shouldn't forget how big impact this game had on our lives during lockdown and pandemic. Many had nothing else to do than play and watch for their favorite content creators streaming. Maybe this is healthy feedback for them as well, that players shouldn't be treated poorly. Show your support by giving them feedback. There's nothing else we can do. Thank you for watching.